Hello and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. This is Nick, and today we're going to be doing a very special 50th episode. We're going to be looking at The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb, the expansion pack we've been waiting for for all these months. And I, I say that in a joking manner, I'm not upset. <laughs> but this is the amazing, endless dungeon crawler, procedurally generated, randomized the horror-thon that's created by Edmund McMillan and Florian Himsel, and I've spent hours already playing this game. Uh, I've got a, a very short Let's Play series with five episodes already up on the channel. I might restart that, because this is a great expansion pack and we've added a lot to the mix. So I'm going to do one quick, uh, well, probably not quick, but we're going to try one round of it. Uh, and this is completely blind. I haven't really played this at all yet. I've watched a couple videos of people playing it, so there's that. So this is our new unlockable character. I unlock by passing on two treasure rooms and killing mom. Interesting. I'm told Samson is the berserker of the bunch. Um, now who should I play as, though? Probably not him. Let's, just because the game's extremely hard, uh, well, more hard than it was, I'm gonna play as Isaac. I'll have the D6, I'll be able to re-roll if I get a crappy item. Oh boy, it's been such a while since I've played this. I don't know, for any of you guys that don't know what this game is about, well, you should probably have watched it by now, because it's been out for a long time. But it's sort of like a endless dungeon in Zelda with all kinds of little crazy macabre twists and turns. Uh, the idea is that every time you play it, you're going to find a different sequence of items, and you're going to end up with a vastly different experience. And the expansion pack that I've just added has actually added about 200 or so new items and a whole bunch of new twists, including more secrets, tons more bosses. Wow, this is an extremely easy first floor. Um, that's a crappy item, so we're gonna reroll that and get a halo and get all stats up, which is a really nice way to start off. Now, uh, I didn't really get much of anything on this floor, but we're just gonna right start on the boss, and wow, first round we're fighting Famine. So, so far, level one, no new content whatsoever. These are all things that existed before. And a lot of the way this game works is through memorization, uh, pattern recogni recognition, I almost said recognition, which is not a word. And since I have, oh, that's new, some sort of a scrotum packed fly there. Oh, and he shoots multiple bullets at me. This is definitely one of the games that's extremely difficult to talk and play at the same time. Like, more so than a lot, because you really have to concentrate. And this was also one of the first games that I tried to do a Let's Play of by myself, so I was very new to it. And even still, it's very difficult now that I'm, I've gone almost 200 videos since then. And I'm almost gonna die on the first level. That's really crappy. So I've got a level 1 cube of meat, and let's proceed onward and hope I don't die. So the way this expansion pack mixes up the levels is you actually will end up with a random chance to end up in a, like, an equivalent but different world. See, before we were in basement 1, now we're in cellar 2, and each of the floors has its own, like, twist on that idea. Oh, and that's a, what is that, a dime? Nickel. Okay. Look different. Okay, so much needed hearts, always good. And this is uh, one of the new features of the expansion pack is there's a door that will actually damage you when you go through it. And it also goes uh, and damages you on the way back out. Uh, I'm extremely low on health right now, so I choose not to go in there. Blood clots, not a big deal. Fought these guys hundreds of times. Uh, 
Bomb for a bomb? Probably not. And there's also new room layouts uh, in addition to all the new items and as you can see there's these spider webs here which actually will slow you down when you walk over them. That's a completely new thing, it looks like a poison bottle. And since I've never gotten it before, let's get it. Chemical peel, damage up. Ooh, that's brutal, now I'm two-faced. Alright. Well, I could always use more damage, as well as more health. So let's move back over to the central hub and go down. Ooh, new enemy. Those look nasty. Some form of nasty spider. Um... Okay, they're not too bad. They're like hoppers. I could see getting easily overwhelmed by them, though. And these pustules actually regurgitate spiders from them. Uh, they usually start out like a nub. Like one of the usual like abscesses that start to spew blood. Oh, that's got a bomb embedded in it. I'll use it to my advantage, why not? Uh, but yeah, instead of turning into one of the normal pustules that spews blood, those turn into spiders, and they will keep spawning them until you finish them. Duke of Flies! That's usually an easy first boss to get, and now that I have a shitload of damage, I should be in a pretty good spot. Considering I only have two hearts, that is a big bonus for me. I, I don't estimate that I will last a particularly long time, uh, but... That's what this channel's for, you know, I'm gonna let you know about this. If you haven't seen Isaac by now, it's an outstanding game if you are into, you know, all this kind of weird violence and stuff. Um, that's a cardboard box, what is in that? All kinds of stuff. Wow, that was really not very nice. Rusted key. Totally new idea, I don't even know what that does. Strength. Um, should I use that? I forgot what I put, yeah. Man, I can't even remember, strength is one room, why did I bother with that? And should I try to make a deal with the devil? I don't have a lot of hearts, but let's see what he's got anyway. Uh, dead baby helps me fire faster. I don't remember what that one does, but I don't have three spirit hearts anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, new music, and I moved on, oh well. Oh, but what I was going to say before is if you're enjoying this uh, and you would like to see me play some more Binding of Isaac, please let me know. I have no problem, uh, now that it's been refreshed, going back and playing a whole bunch more of it. I never really got bored of it in the first place, I just felt like there were other more compelling things to move on to, so... If you guys are into it, I'm totally cool playing some more. It's just a, it's also that I know that there is a particular YouTube out there, YouTuber out there who has played... Man, it sounds like some kind of weird potato. Uh, that has played over 150 episodes of this in his Let's Play, so I feel like I'm not going to even touch, like, the reason why people would watch that for me. Like, he's got outstanding commentary, and my commentary's okay, but I think he's much better. But if you guys like my commentary, let me know. So what is this jar? Ipecac. Explosive shots. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I really hope this creep doesn't damage me, though. Alright. And we don't know if the explosion will damage me as well. I'm certain that I'm going to find out by accidentally stepping into it at one point, though. So we're gonna hope for the best, see how far we can make it. I don't anticipate that we'll beat the game on this first try. Wow, I'm really slow now. Uh, my shots are, anyway. I would be awfully lucky to beat this on my first try, considering that the game is brutally more difficult than it was even before, and it was already quite brutally difficult. Uh, these shots are definitely powerful, I'll give them that. And it's pretty cool that I don't need bombs anymore, because I can essentially blow up everything. To be pretty good at lobbing them accurately, or there's not going to be much point. But yeah, going after stuff like this that's going to be chasing me, this is going to be very difficult. Oh, 
Oh, I found the secret room by accident. Yeah, every floor has a secret room. I have uh, not been pursuing them because I had insufficient bombs. Let's see what's up there. What the hell is that? Fortune teller? Why not? We will all die one day. That's useful. Um. Try again. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I figured would happen. Uh, I remember the sun was a particularly good thing. And I don't remember what it was. It's been quite a while, like I said, since I played this last... Peep. Man, where are the new bosses? Well, it's all luck of the draw, right? This might be pretty easy as long as I can stay away from Peep's creep and Peep's eyeballs. Okay, so they do damage me. Now I know. And that's Peep. Jumbo juice box. Jesus juice. Range and tears up. Okay, well it doesn't really help me fire that much faster. Why did I fire into a wall? Ugh. Let's go down. Catacombs, too. Oh, that's totally new. And there was just a random gold chest over there. Oh, I should also mention that trinkets were added to the game. Uh, added to the game. That's the item on the top left of my UI. It says rusted key. Uh oh, troll bomb. Uh, what those do are they impart passive effects. Oh boy, there's all kinds of different walking pustules now. That was not too bad. Would like to have a little bit more health at this point in the game. These seem like they could be a, a little obnoxious. Greed heads. Um, Alright, I can blow up everything. Oh wow. Poop with corn in it. And some kind of really creepy alternative to the, uh, the usual guy that looks like that. Come on, fly. Don't give me crap. Oh, I found the boss already. Uh, I feel like I should probably find the treasure room. An arcade. It's not going to be that useful to me right now. I have exactly enough for one item from an item room. Head back over and up. Oh man. A lot of explosives trading here. Oh, and I found the secret room again. Cool. Three cents. That kind of sucks. Let's go get our item. My last key. Magic mirror, that's not pleasant. That's actually gonna kill me if I pick that up, because it's gonna make my shots curve back at me. Alright, let's reroll. Something new. You have been blessed, scapular. Um, well, as usual, uh, without checking the Isaac wiki, I have no idea what that does. Uh, I have a nice aura around me, as well as a halo, so I'm very much divine now. Active spiders. That's dangerous. Got a scent. I'm gonna assume that it. Oh, those are terrifying. Alright, those things usually shoot a laser of blood in one or two directions. These shoot out a little maggot at me. So uh, let's pick that heart container up. Or heart power up up. Get out! Jeez, thing trapped me in the corner there. Not sure why I bothered coming over here. Oh, guess that's why. Alright, let's make our way to the boss again.
Also based on my previous runs through Isaac, uh, I know that these can often go way over like an hour, 45 minutes, that kind of range, so I'm gonna try and keep this short. Once I get to the 20 minute mark, oh, the Hoske new boss. Uh, once I get over the 20 minute mark, I'm gonna be looking to wrap this up one way or the other. Okay, this is a pretty decent boss to get, especially if you've got such high damage. What is that? Mom's coin purse? <laughs> Alright, I got a whole bunch of pills. Let's see what these... Let's see what the duplicate ones do, so then I'll know if I can use them later. Bad gas. That's lame. What's this one do? Range up. Alright, permanent effect. Awesome. I found okay. pills and ate them, now I'm retarded. And the last one here I'll take with me in case it's a nice effect. Depths 1. Making pretty quick progress. Let's keep going. Come on now. Ooh, new music? I believe there was three new tracks created for this expansion, which is awesome, because the music in Isaac is amazing. New enemies everywhere. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we've got hearts and masks. And the heart, the masks are crying, which is terrifying. Um, pustules. Champion pustule, which is probably going to kill me. Holy crap, everything's shooting arc shots that are exploding. Why can't I kill that? It won't die. There we go. Alright, now I've got a duplicate of this. Balls of steel, awesome. Might as well use it twice. Not gonna do me much good by waiting. Um, that guy will take health in exchange for items the same way the beggar usually does. Not interested in doing that right now. Okay, whole crap load of spiders. Um, yeah, I had to just sort of hope for the best on that. Since I was already taking invincibility frames, I might as well use them to explode everything. Tarot card. Temperance. Man, I gotta remember what these all do. White flies. What is the difference between black flies and white flies? Do these guys not attack me? They're just sort of... passive? Oh, okay, so they orbit their little poop circle until... poop circle leaves, and then they become attack. Flies. Can't hit them, though. Like I said, it's extremely hard to hit stuff that's homing in on me like that, since they never give me enough distance. Oh, I wonder what the hell this is going to do. Um... Huh. Let's get it. Technology 2. Oh man, it explodes! That's crazy! So I've got both. Okay, now that's a good solution for stuff that chases me. Now I don't have to worry about keeping distance, because I can shoot stuff from both ranges. Crap. These guys are really tough. I can't tell if these are all champions. Man, everything has some sort of explosive effect in this run. Okay, actually this could be the death of me just because I'm going to spend a lot of time trying to kill stuff that's right in front of me, so I'm going to be paying much less attention to the distance I am from my explosions. And the boss room's got to be over here somewhere. Some more spiders. This laser is doing very little damage, which is a little bit lame. But I also didn't power it up at all. Oh, another one of these rooms? There's a terrible layout for this. I just get trapped immediately. Keys are good. I should have probably re-rolled that technology. I was really curious to know what it would do when it mixed effects. Thought it would be kind of cruel to just replace my sweet explosive effect. Oh, that one's the both directions type. Um, let's use this. Oh, it's one of those. Let's blow that up. Coins. And what tarot card do we have? High Priestess. I believe that takes you straight to the boss. 
Oh, well, we blew up the rock entirely. That's not good. Well, the boss is right in front of me, so let's just go for it. If I die, so what? The Fallen. Um, I'm probably gonna kill myself, if anything. Yeah, okay. That was super lame, but anyway, I think this is a pretty good ending for it, a pretty good amount of time to be going on anyway. Um, so this was the Wrath of the Lamb, the awesome Binding of Isaac expansion. I have a hundred million more items and stuff to find. I'm told of amazing secrets that we may never figure out. I'm curious. You guys are probably curious too. Well, that's what the Binding of Isaac wiki is for, and the collective world's knowledge will contribute to that. So, I will thank you very much for watching this very special 50th episode of Indie Impressions. And I hope you keep tuning in for more, and I hope you tell your friends about it, because I just want you guys to know how much I care about the indie community, and how much I want to help. You guys can help too by talking about the channel, and visiting it at facebook.com slash indie impressions, where I will update you with whatever new news I happen to have. And you guys can come have conversations about each night's episode. So thank you again for watching, I will see you tomorrow with another. Take care.